Hello everybody and welcome to my variables in Python 3 tutorial video. In this video I will teach you guys about, and girls, about variables which you will quickly find yourself using extremely frequently pretty much in every single program you ever write. Variables act uh, as a placeholder for whatever you place in them and they can be changed so they are, as you guessed, variable. So let's go ahead and uh, show some examples of these variable variables. So for starters, let's say uh, we just have example var. So what this is and how you define a variable in Python is you just type it out. So variables can have all kinds of fun stuff uh, in them. Uh, you can do what's known as camel casing or you can use uh, a lot of people will do like example var like this. Um, and a lot of people even capitalize their variables uh, like this. Uh, so they use all caps and underscores. Honestly, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. But um, like I said, a lot of you guys have teachers or whatever, and they get pretty anal about this kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, do whatever they say. But I do camel casing pretty much for everything. I camel case my variables, my functions, pretty much all that stuff. So, um that is improper uh, by you know programming standards uh, so uh, take that as you will anyway so example var uh, is our variable name and then you just follow it with a equals and we're just gonna say example var equals 55 for now and then we're gonna print out uh, example var so now let's just save and run that, and sure enough, it prints out 55. You can also have example var equals 55 plus 32. So you can not only have example var equal uh, just something, it can actually equal a quick operation. So we'll do this, 87. And example var can also, check this out, uh, can contain a function. So in this case, we have a very simple function. Ooh, isn't this interesting? <laughs> Example var equals uh, print. Oops. Whoa. Imagine Neo as you say whoa. Anyway, uh, so we can do that. So let's run that. And you can see in the definition it you know went whoa, and we never actually even had to call example var. But if we call example var again, uh, we get whoa. So now. Um, so you can put functions in there, and you can do some, some other stuff too that I'll show you guys in just one moment called unpacking. Um, trying to think uh, if there's anything else. Actually, I think I've covered everything I really want to cover. Um, so let me delete, uh, delete that, and let me show you guys one last part of uh, variables uh, that's pretty uh, integral or useful, and that's going to be unpacking. So when you unpack a variable, what you can do is you could say like a common operation would be like coordinates, right? So you could say x comma y equals, and then you could say your coordinates are 3, 5, okay? Now what that's going to do is it's going to unpack this Python list into x and y. So what you can do now is we can do stuff with the, our new variables, and in this case, let's just print them. Uh, run that and you can see that it prints X which is 3 and Y which is 5 pretty neat but what if you try to do like uh, this so now you're trying to you've got two variables but you've got three bits of data that you're trying to unpack you're gonna get this error too many values to unpack we'll talk about this again in a little bit because I will have a bit of a debugging uh, basics uh, later on but just take note that it must be equal like you must unpack the same number of variables so uh, for now I think that'll cover the introduction of variables uh, and all that so uh, if you guys have any questions about variables feel free to post them below I do respond to the comments uh, otherwise hopefully you guys learned something new as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and the subscriptions and until next time